So in this video, we're gonna see some tips about the Ontario region and the strategy to complete the contracts easier. Let's get to it. So the first tip is, at the start of your run, don't spend any time scouting the map. And I will tell you why further in the video. But before that, do the service center contract so you can unlock all the features in your garage. After you finish that contract, there is one bridge to fix. And you need one concrete block and one metal beam for that. And the bridge is somewhere around this area. You can follow this road until you get to that bridge. And this is the task for fixing the bridge. As you can see, you can just follow this road until you see the task. So after you completed this task, now it's time for some scouting. You can do a scouting and this contract at the same time, exploring the burned out infrastructures. And completing this contract would give you the access to the burned forest. After you finish that contract, you can unlock this watchtower and then you can follow this railroad to find an upgrade. After that, if you take a look at your contracts, you see the contract that you need to do to unlock the dairy special. And also, there is another contract that I'd like to say something about it. The work transport evacuation contract. First thing, don't do this contract at the beginning of the game. And the second thing is, at the location of the contract, there is a scout fuel carrier. And fuel is really important in this region. So it's better to take the fuel carrier and bring it to this location. And there it is. This is the fuel carrier. Just attach it to your vehicle or if you cannot attach it, just finch to it and bring it to this location. And there is the location. After that, you can do these contracts. Restoring the water tower contracts and looking for the fire monster contract. And then after you restore the water towers, I'll show you different methods for carrying water. Before we get to that, there are two things that I want to tell you. The first thing is, there are two types of water towers. There are ones like the one that you just restored, that they are a source of water, they have unlimited amount of water, and there are other water towers that you need to do a task to restore them. The task is called water boom. We have multiple water boom tasks around the whole region. But the difference between these two towers is the water towers that you restored are a source of water, as I said. But these water towers, the water boom water towers, are more like a storage for your water. You can bring some water to that water tower and store it over there. I really have no idea what's the point of those towers and I don't really see why someone should do that. But we have them around the map. If you wanna use them, go ahead and use them. And the second thing is, if you have any water left in your water carrier and then you go to another region, when you come back, you see that all the water in your water carrier has disappeared. And it's the same if you close the game or you go to the main menu or even if you go through a tunnel in this region. If you do that, the water in your water carrier will just disappear. So keep that in mind. If you wanna do the putting out the fire contracts, make sure that you're gonna do them in one sitting or at least deliver the water to the destination and then close the game or go to another region. I believe it's a bug that would get fixed, but right now it's like that. Now, the different ways of carrying water. The first one is the normal way. You just put a water carrier add-on on your truck and then you start doing the contracts. For that, you can use a truck like the dairy special. But the problem with that is you can only carry 2200 liters of water, which is not that much when you take a look at the contracts. And it would take a long time to complete each putting out the fire contract. But if you have the time, you can go for it. An alternative way is to put a saddle low on your truck and then buy a heavy water carrier. In this case, you can carry 37 liters of water. Now, if you want to spice things up, you can bring a truck that has a water carrier add-on and then winch that truck to this one with heavy water carrier. If you want to carry even more water, 
You can buy water carrier trailer and attach it to the truck that is in the back. And then use your winch to attach the two trucks. But the way that I like to do it is, I simply bring two heavy water carriers and then I use the winch to attach the two trucks. In this case, you can carry 7,400 liters of water. I like this method more than the previous one because it's easier to maneuver the convoy like this. If you wanna do it like this, I recommend using this dairy long haul. It has a good turning radius that would help you a lot for maneuvering this convoy and it has a really big fuel tank. Fuel is really important in this region. So if you don't wanna use this truck and it doesn't matter how you wanna carry water, I recommend using a truck that is really fuel efficient. These were all the different ways that you can carry water in a SnowRunner. I personally went for two heavy water carriers because I'm the type of guy who likes to do everything as fast as possible. You know, I never enjoy the ride. I just wanna to get to the destination. So if you're like me, you can use this method. If not, you can carry water in any way that you like. Now, something that you can do that helps you a lot for completing putting out the fire contracts. Grab your Tatra Phoenix and put the fuel carrier add-on on it. If you don't have the Tatra Phoenix, you can use any truck that you want. I use the Phoenix because it's a fast truck and the fuel carrier add-on has a capacity of 2000 liters. But after that, bring your Tatra Phoenix to this location. Now your Tatra Phoenix is gonna be like your fuel station at this spot. And believe me, you're gonna use a ton of that fuel. Because that water tower is like your main water tower for completing the putting out the fire contracts, you're gonna drive by this area a lot. So having 2000 liters of fuel at this location would be a great help. Now a quick tip when you're doing putting out the fire contracts in the Albany River. So on your trip, you're gonna see these two trees. The one on the right sometimes break and sometimes doesn't. But the one on the left is really strong. I never could break that tree by driving over it. And it feels like the tree is somehow connected to the core of the earth. So instead of trying to drive over it, because you're gonna struggle a lot doing that, just go around it. If you have watched my tips and tricks video, you know it's always better to stick to the side of the road. Now, after you finished putting out the fire contracts in the Albany River, go ahead and park your trucks at the railway station. You don't really need them right now. Now, the next contracts are restoring the railroad tracks, forest cleaner, and let there be road. I think it's a good time to do these contracts in the order that I just said. So for the first one restoring the railroad tracks, you need to bring these rails to the railway station. And completing this contract would give you access to the warehouse at that location. So for this contract, you need a wide flatbed semi-trailer. You cannot use normal semi-trailers for this contract. And you need a crane. I personally recommend using the dairy special for this contract, but you can use any truck that you want. And for loading the rails on the trailer, because your crane is too short, you cannot completely put the rails on the trailer. So just put it on the trailer like this, and then start pushing the rails with your crane until it's on the trailer so you can pack it. After you completed this contract, now you have access to this warehouse. And the good thing about this warehouse is, it has unlimited amount of cargo. But now, again, park your truck, at the railway station. The next contract that we're gonna do is the forest cleaner. For that contract, we need our Matsu Forster. And I'll show you a way to do this contract in one trip. First, don't forget to put the medium logging extension on your Armatsu. Then go to the location that you need to pick up burnt logs. Now, for doing this contract in one trip, put the logs manually on your vehicle and do not pack them. And don't forget, when a contract says you need four logs, if you wanna pick up the logs manually, you need three logs for a pack of log. So in this case, for this contract, we need 12 burned logs, which is four packs of burned logs. And it's always better to pick up two logs at the time. And don't worry about them when you're driving, they're not gonna fall. Now, at the destination, you'll discover a GMC truck which is not really that useful, it doesn't have good tires, it doesn't have all-wheel drive. 
but it has a full tank of fuel that you can use so don't recover it right off the bat but now for delivering the logs you need to have three logs on your vehicle each time so you have to take out the remaining logs if you pack your cargo with all the logs being on the back the game just gonna pack everything into one pack of log and we don't want that so for taking out the logs, always try to grab the ones that are on the side. Don't try to go for the ones that are in the center. It's way easier to pick up the logs that are on the side and just throw them on the ground. After you took out all the logs and you had three logs left on your vehicle, pack them and deliver them. And then pick up three logs, put it on your vehicle and repeat the same thing. Now, after you completed this contract, the next contract that we're gonna do is let there be road. This contract would give us the access to the other tunnel. I recommend using the Daria special that we just used for the restoring the railroad contract. Because we already have a truck and a trailer and everything we need at that location. And you can do this in multiple trips, having that truck and trailer would help you a lot. But you know, I like to do everything in one trip. So I would put two metal beams on the cap and then hold them down with the crane. If you wanna do what I just did, make sure that you're gonna attach your crane to the bottom metal beam. And delivering them is really simple. Just put the metal beams here and then push them on the trailer so you can pack them. Now you have access to the other tunnel too. So now since we have access to this tunnel and we have a truck with trailer and crane, it's better to do the preventive care contract. So for this contract, we need to pick up six hay bales and deliver them to the city warehouse in the Albany River. But that's not the only thing about this contract. There is something else that you can do to help you a lot further on in the future. Once you got to the location to pick up the hay bales, go ahead and pick up five of them, put them on the trailer and pack them. And you can easily put the sixth hay bale on this part of the trailer. I'll show you that in a second. But first, pick up the first five hay bales and then park your trailer beside the last hay bale and then detach your trailer. After that, you see that there is a scout fuel carrier at this location. I want you to take the fuel carrier to the side of the road at this location. Having the fuel carrier at that location would be a great help. Because as I mentioned before, fuel is really important in this region and especially in this map, Burnt Forest because there are no fuel stations and trailer stores in this map so you would really need some fuel so after you got to that location leave the fuel carrier over there refuel your truck and get back to the hay bales now for the last hay bale just put it like this on this part of the trailer so it wouldn't roll and you don't really need to hold it down or anything it's not gonna fall and the other thing is you're gonna be driving on tarmac for your whole trip so the hay bale is really not gonna fall so after you completed this contract you can basically do any unlocked contract that you want except for the work transport evacuation we leave that for later but there is something about one of these contracts that i think i have to tell you the serious business contract i feel a bit embarrassed saying that but this contract actually fooled me and i don't really know other people did what i did too or it was just me so but i'm gonna tell you anyway so for this contract you have to deliver eight golds to the railway station which is actually really simple but as you can see the contract doesn't say you need a crane but you know i always use a truck that has a crane so i got to the location and then i saw a forklift i was like okay that's nice i can sell it later on then i tried to pick up the golds with my crane but I was like, wait a minute, where are those circles? How can I pick those things up with my crane? But then I thought, maybe I have to use the forklift to load them up. So actually the first time I went for the forklift and I started to loading them up. But then I accidentally found out I can use my crane to load them up. The arrows are covering those circles. I don't know other people have made the same mistake as I have made. But I did load these three golds on my truck with the forklift. But you can easily do it with the crane. So don't use the forklift. Alright, so after you deliver these three golds, just park your truck at the railway station. Now it's time for the other five. 
You can use a truck with crane and a saddle low to do this part of the contract because there is a semi trailer at that location that you can use. So just use a truck with crane and saddle low. You don't really need anything else. Now a good thing about doing this contract right now is for the next couple of contracts, you need to pick up some cargo that you can find them here at the railway station. And other than that, you have two trucks over there ready to do the job. So now for the next couple of contracts, there is nothing I can really say. So I'm going to show you the task that you need to do to unlock the new Zix. And there is something else that you can do doing that task that helps you a lot later on. Okay, so this is the task that you need to do to unlock the Zix 566A. The task is called Help the Villagers 3. And you need to tow the Zix from this location to the village. So at that location, you'll find three things. A scout fuel carrier, the Zix 566A, and a freight liner. What I want you to do is to put a scout fuel carrier on your truck and then go ahead and start towing the Zix. You have to deliver the Zix to this location, the village, but for the scout fuel carrier, bring it to this location at the sawmill. You're gonna drive around that area a lot, so having some fuel over there would be really nice. So first deliver the Zix to the village so you can unlock it and then drop the scout fuel carrier here at the sawmill. Now after that we need to complete the contracts that we see on the screen right now and there isn't much I can really say about them. Then we go for the work transport evacuation contract. So for the first stage we have to tow that cat to the town which is really easy. I use the Zeke 605R you can use any truck that you want. Now for the second stage we have to deliver the western star to the quarry in Bern Forest which on its own is really simple, but there is something we can do to save some time for the next contract. Now the next contract is the searching for the underground fire. And for this contract, we need a truck with vibrator module. So now what we're gonna do is use a truck with vibrator module to tow the Western Star to the quarry. I use Tega B, but I recommend using a truck with good ground clearance. Now at the quarry, before you deliver the Western Star, make sure that you're gonna refuel your truck from the Western Star. Then you can deliver the Western Star. After that, you see there is a task over there. Go ahead and activate that task because you have to complete that task to unlock a contract. And this is that contract, delivery from quarry. You will unlock it after you did that task. Now, before we go for the searching for the underground fires, there is something else that we should do. First, get to the location beside the quarry, where you can find an ANK and a fuel carrier. And then we should have fuel carrier because we cannot attach it to our truck because of that add-on that we're using. Just winch to it and bring it to this location at the water tower. This fuel carrier trailer would help you so much when you're doing the putting out the fire contracts in the burnt forest. So after you got to that location, drop that trailer over there and then it's time for the searching for the underground fires. The contract is really simple, there is nothing to say, but an upgrade location is close to that area. Even if you unlock all the watchtowers, you're not gonna see that upgrade on the map. So here at the first underground fire area, if you take this road and continue going towards the trees in the middle of the water, you see the raised suspension upgrade for the new Zix. And here is the location on the map. The first underground fire area was over there. And over here you can find the upgrade. And the tip for the third underground fire area. So you can get stuck really easily on these things in this place. There are like these little like burnt stumps or something. I don't really know what to call them. But they are really strong and they know how to stop your truck. So try to avoid driving over them as much as you can. And that's why I told you to use a truck with good ground clearance. It's gonna come really handy in this place. And another thing is that bar thing at the rear of the truck would get stuck really easily on these things. So it could be really frustrating driving in this area. So you really take your time and watch where you're going. 
So at this point, the remaining contracts are really simple. There is nothing I can say about them. And for putting out the fire contracts in the burnt forest, now you have three fuel carriers around the map at some really good location. So you don't really need to be worried about running out of fuel. That's it for today's video. I see you in the next one.